Hi everyone, this is Heather from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we're going to take a look at a few new features inside of Photoshop CC 2017. But first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on our website. If you're not sure which version of Photoshop you currently have running, you can click the Adobe icon in the upper right of your screen and you'll see the version and this button will either say open or download. Adobe recently released a fairly significant update to most of their products and you can actually find the release notes on their website to see exactly what's new. In a previous video, we took a look at Face Aware Liquify, but there are a few other things I'd like to show you. In order to create a new document, you can press Command or Control N on the keyboard in order to see this dialog box. Now this box did get a major overhaul on this release, and you'll notice that you can create a new document that's for photo, and it will give you some suggestions as to what you may wish to start with. This looks a little bit different than previous versions, but it's essentially the same thing where you decide how big you want the document in any one of these measurements. But one thing that's new and kind of interesting is that if you scroll down, you'll notice that Adobe is now including templates, many of which are free. And obviously, if you jump to their website, you can find paid versions as well. And these are listed in different categories. So in the art and illustration, I'm just going to select this chalkboard markup because I already downloaded it. And it gives you some information about the file and then you can simply say open. You can do things like change the background of the chalkboard color, obviously remove the design and add your own. But while we're here, let's talk about something that was improved with the text tool. I'm going to press T in order to access that tool. And I'm just going to type the word hello in a chalkboard font that I have. And you can drop the opacity of that so it looks a little bit more like chalk. But something that's interesting to me is that Adobe enhanced the properties panel, and I used to only be able to access this information regarding my text via the character palette, but they've included that information in the properties just to make your workflow a little smoother. I'm going to close this document just by pressing Command or Control W and not saving. Another thing Adobe did with text is they've added SVG fonts, and that just stands for Scalable Vector Graphics and Photoshop ships with Trajan Color. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And you'll notice that you have different options for this font. Now the reason this is nice is because previously you would add layer effects to get this look, but the scalable vector graphics make it more clean and powerful. Part of this update also includes the ability to add emojis to your files, which seems a little bit silly, but I have the text tool and I'm going to choose emoji one and click inside of the document and type a word. And now you'll notice that that changed the font back to Arial. But what I'm gonna do is choose emoji one and you'll notice that you'll see all of these different emojis. You can scroll through and then click to insert them into your document. I personally don't have an application for emojis inside of Photoshop, but I suppose if you're creating designs, this might come in useful. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And if you're interested in seeing all of the new features inside of Photoshop CC 2017, make sure you go to Adobe's website and choose see full release notes, and you can scroll through and find out all of the cool new features. There are a lot of enhancements to performance that while they don't directly impact you may be useful. There is one more thing I'd like to mention. The Photoshop search has been greatly improved. If you type in the word crop, for instance, it will show you the tool. It will also show you some other things you may wish to explore, but it also gives you help with that tool, which can be very useful. I'll see you in the next video.